This is another Operation Protect the White Boy, White Woman edition. It's been a while since I've done a, a PC woman on the channel uh, falling into this category. I take that back. It hasn't been that long, probably about a week or two. <laughs> but today we will be talking about a woman by the name of Olivia Janet. That, she literally has two first names. Uh, anyway, this woman is 20 and she looks way older than 20. But before I get into it, do you see how bloodshot red her eyes are? What the hell has she been into? And as y'all can see by the thumbnail, I said there's a reason why she's smiling. And if you had her level of privilege, you probably would be too. This woman is facing her fourth DWI charge in under three years. And she's only 20. And that's a haggard, straggard looking 20. This kind of reminds me of when I did the Operation Protect the White Boy on Jeff Hardy. Because, you know, he was kind of the same way with his DWIs or his DUIs. But dang, she her fourth one in under three years, which means she's pretty much been getting DWI since she was like 17, maybe or 17, 18, somewhere around that time. An underage woman is facing what do you mean underage? She's 20. I'm just say a woman is facing her fourth DWI charge since 2020 after she was arrested early Saturday morning in Mankato. Olivia Janet, age 20 of Chatfield was charged Monday in Blue Earth County Court with two counts of felony DWI. She also faces a misdemeanor charge for driving with, I mean, driving after cancellation. A criminal complaint says Mankato police officer observed an Impala stopped at a green light at the intersection of Stoltzman Road and South Riverfront Drive just after 1 a.m. Saturday for a full 14 seconds. The officer then observed the Impala swerved after attempting to turn onto Poplar Street, then weave on over the center and fog lines on Highway 169, according to the complaint. Police performed a traffic stop and found Janet in the driver's seat. She refused to exit the vehicle and had to be physically removed by the officer. Police say Janet had bloodshot eyes, as you can see in the mugshot, slurred speech, and smelled overwhelmingly of alcohol. <clears throat> Janet was transported to the Blue Earth County Jail where she failed to failed or perform poorly several field sobriety tests, according to the complaint. Court records say a breath test put her blood alcohol content at 0.10. Janet was charged with a DWI in July 2020 and convicted in April 2022. She was arrested on February 16, 2023 in Scott County for a DWI and convicted the same month. She was also arrested on a DWI charges in Blue Earth County on February 5th, 2020. So as you can see, she had one in 2020 and two just a couple months ago. Like literally, she almost now falls into the same category as the Operation Protect the White Boy that I did on that man who got arrested 10 times in one month. But as you can see. She got handled with care and she's smiling in her mugshot. She probably she was probably so drunk. She thought she was at a photo shoot. She probably thought that she was at a photo shoot. She probably had no idea that she was having a mugshot being taken of her. Or maybe she's smiling because she knows she's going to get away with it because she has gotten away with the same thing before in the past. Now, you got to think that this woman not only needs to be needs to do some jail time, but she needs to go to um, alcohol awareness. She needs to definitely be in some kind of a rehab because she clearly has a drinking problem. And again, the scary part about the situation is what if there were other people out there? What if she hit someone? What if she ran into someone's business or someone's home or anything like that where it involved her actually physically harming someone or even harming herself, like running into some object that could have killed her? Many people will say, yeah, hey, it's just on her because, you know, she she decided to get in the car behind the wheel and drive under the influence. But the fact of the matter is, is they keep letting her get away with it. And the only time that they'll make her stop is if either she goes or she takes someone else out. That's really all it boils down to. That's the pattern that I've been noticing over the years. That's something that I have pretty much alluded to at this point they like to wait until the worst happens and then that's when they decide to act so as far as i'm concerned if this woman has someone's life in their hand life in her hands because of something stupid and foolish she did it's really on the people who decided to not completely go after her the way that they should and that and that can be 
with anybody. You know, whether they are under the influence from alcohol or some kind of narcotic.